not here. <laughs> this is my condo. And yeah, guys, welcome back to our Hungry Adventures in Krabi province of Thailand. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything about my condo. I'm gonna tell you how much did I pay for it. Why have I chosen this place to stay? Uh, I'll be sharing some tips about renting condo in Thailand because maybe you remember in the past I used to be an office guy working in a real estate company selling and renting out condos and houses in Thailand so maybe I can share something useful while in the second part of the video I'm gonna take you for a food shopping in the supermarket because if you're planning to stay in Thailand for a long time you might consider cooking food for yourself or probably forcing your girlfriend to do it I know you guys and also there will be a bonus part, because yesterday I had an event and this event might play an important role in the future of this channel, in the future of this trip, in the future of upcoming videos. Yesterday I had to visit hospital, and it's not a joke. I'll tell you about it a bit later. So if you got some time, then please be my guest and welcome to my condo. Here is my balcony on the fifth floor. Hey you! You know what you did? You scratched my seat on motorcycle. Yeah, my leather seat. You scratched it, you know? Yes, you know. Why did you do it? You wanna say you're innocent? Are you innocent? Tell me. I need an answer. I need an answer. Please. Okay. I forgive you, you know. Okay. Bye bye. This condo has a parking on the ground level. As you see, this section is for cars and small section for motorcycles. And there is another one. Because when you are staying in Thailand from April till September, you really want to have something to cover your car, to cover your motorcycle, some kind of roof, because raining here is really insane. Yeah. But I have decided to park in a distance, a bit away from the main entrance, because there is a nasty cat who loves to sleep on the motorcycles and scratch the seats. Unfortunately, I have discovered it only after he did it to me. You see this stuff? Very nasty cat. Okay, let's go inside. Let's go up. Just like in many other condos around Thailand, probably 97% of them, you can't enter without using your key card, because there is a lock only after that and what is special about this place you can't leave this condo without using your card you see you can't open the, this door and there is no button you gotta use your key card again only now you can leave no strangers allowed and here is my post box here i can find my electric bills coming every month, but since I'm staying here for one month only, I don't need to worry about it much. Okay, and now we're on the first floor. And here we've got first swimming pool. There are two swimming pools in this building. The second one is on the rooftop, but the rooftop swimming pool is currently under the maintenance. You can't access it. But I've never seen anybody swimming here. I've never been here myself, to be honest. Let's go check it out together. So much fun. I don't know why I've never come here. It's so blue, so lovely, so clean. I don't feel strong smell of chemicals, yeah. And they even have got this keys area. What a lovely place, isn't it? Should I test it right now? Write me in the comments if I should test it right now. Come on, come on, write me in the comments. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is my gym room and one of the reasons why I've chosen this place to stay. I understand it's pretty small, it's pretty basic, but it has everything you need to keep yourself fit. And gyms like this one you can find almost in every condo around Thailand. And if you love to stay fit and if you want to save some money, you might consider renting a condo with gym because you can visit it for free and save some time and some money. <laughs> Okay, done for today. <sighs> okay, number five. Time to see my room. Welcome. Well, yeah, this is the place. This is the place where I'm staying. I've got two air conditioning, here is the bedroom, working desk, shower and toilet. This is the living room with television and this is the kitchen area. I've got no stove here, but I've got these things. And this one is electric pan and this one is rice cooker or electric pot. You can boil almost everything inside. And you probably remember, I'm not a cooking guy, I'm rather a market guy. So for me, riding to a market, buying some food is a much easier option, yeah. And I found this place on booking.com. I booked one night here for 500 baht, yeah, and I enjoyed the night here. And next day, I was so exhausted after this Panna adventures, after this raining in Krabi. So I just asked the owner, how much do you want for this apartment for the whole month? He said, 14,000 baht. I said, is this the last price? He said, okay, 13,000 baht. I said, including electric and water. He said, mm, okay. So I've got this room for 13,000 baht per month. Yeah, and later when I did cleaning, I found electric bills by an accident. And I realized that the average, average bill for electricity here is 2,000 baht per month. Yeah. An average bill for water for one person is about 200 baht. And an average bill for Wi-Fi is about 300 baht. So we can say the utility bill for this apartment is about 2,500 baht for one month. And that means I got this apartment for 10,000, 10,500 baht. $350 US, yeah. Without deposit and without agreement. Just straight to the owner. 10,500 baht. And I think it's pretty good price for this apartment, yeah, even though it's not a premium place, but it's really good, especially with this mountain view, yeah. And it's pretty quiet here. And I don't mind using agencies, but when you're looking for some for short term, usually it's impossible to get something from, from agents because they can only provide you with six or 12 month contracts because they get one month of commission with one year contract, yeah. Which is why I might recommend a service, a website where you can find lots of budget properties. It's called uh, renthub.com. Pornhub. Renthub. Renthub.com, yeah. Not, not another hub with hot ladies. Yeah. Renthub. And there you can see many, many budget accommodations. Condos are usually serviced apartments for $200 a month, uh, $300 a month, 10,000 baht a month, and so on. And you can rent them for one month, for three months, for five months. Yeah. 
so it's pretty good option. It's not a sponsored video, I'm just sharing my uh, my tips. Yeah, because I've been using this website for years and usually I just cho choose few apartments, few buildings and ride my bike straight to the office and ask him to show me the room and then uh, negotiate the price, negotiate the, um, the length of the contract. But usually three, six months easily. Uh, what else I can say? And now you probably want to see the shower and toilet because it's our tradition. Am I right? That's it. Clean and beautiful. Everything works perfectly. And now I can tell you my hospital story and probably the next two minutes of this episode of this video can tell you everything in detail, so without any comments. Please take a look. Your first dots? Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I got lucky and I got it finally. I didn't expect it's gonna happen this year, but I feel pretty lucky to be honest. Yeah, the life has changed and I'm accepting the rules of the new game. And to be honest, I don't feel any side effects. I felt quite exhausted at the end of the day, at the end of the first day, yeah, and I slept a lot in the first night, but today I feel much better. It's still not the same level of energy, but this is how this thing works. Yeah. But I've got energy to take a ride to a supermarket for shopping with you. Let's go. Here's the bread, white bread, 33 baht, whole wheat, 37, one kilogram of almonds, uh, one kilogram of almonds, 299, peanut butter, 167 baht, for one jar, 500 grams, let's take one, two, 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 two. Twenty five but for one. Cherry tomato, cherry tomato. Seventy five but for kilogram. Okay, I'll take two. $25 
28 baht for kilogram. Small cucumbers, short cucumbers. Sweet potato, 69 baht for kilo. Broccoli, 79 baht for kilogram. Mm. Quite expensive. Red pepper, red bell pepper, 139 baht for one kilo. And they are pretty heavy. I need a compound. Ay, 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 I call police, I call police. Loleng, loleng. Wadi krap? Wadi krap? Okay, three cucumbers. If you prefer the long one, these are Japanese cucumbers. 85 baht for kilo or three pieces for 50. Okay, I gotta take one. My pet, my Aroi. Green lettuce, 79 baht for one kilogram. And this is probably a half, maybe less. Oyster mushroom, 50 baht for a kilo. Pretty heavy pack. Really? Half kilo, 25 baht only. This pack is 25 baht. I can't believe. But here, 25 baht, one. Australian carrot, 35 baht. Chinese carrot is longer. What do you have? Ani majak lachet ying chai makap. Yao. Majak Australia lekwa. Tamai tamai majak Australia lekwa. Lolei. Easy baht ning kilo. Easy, she bought some Roy gram, 300 gram. Okay. 37 baht for two. Two peppers, almost 60 baht. Ah, the frozen, frozen Atlantic salmon filet. 429 baht for kilo and this one is kilo 900 baht kilo 900 gram two hundred twenty nine baht for kilo of fresh shrimps Here's the tilapia, 80 baht for one. Looks pretty fresh. Oh, beef salami, 1000 baht for a kilo. Yeah, that's expensive stick. $20 US, less than $20 US. For two, ki two kilogram of cheddar, 30 eggs, 400 baht, 10 chicken eggs, 53 baht, 91 baht for two liters, two liters of milk. Well, the biggest, five liters, 200 baht. 200 baht for five liters of milk. Pork belly like bacon, 154 baht per kilo.
Pork hip, 107 baht. Minced pork, 116. Pork ribs, 139. And me, 58 baht for kilo. Whole chicken, 58 baht for kilo. Chicken Thai, 52 baht. Chicken smoky sausages for 100 baht for one kilo. Wow. A piece of lamb, 300 grams, 80 baht. A piece of beef, half kilo, 150 baht. Check, 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 check. Problem card. Two kilograms of cucumber, for what? Guys, it was just an example to show you how much the food cost in Thailand this year in 2021. Yeah. Just in case you prefer to cook your food yourself, in case you cannot eat spicy food. Yeah. And I haven't bought much. This pile cost me 550 baht. Because I'm leaving this place soon, and probably if you are watching this video now, it means I'm somewhere on the road looking for new hungry adventures. Here is what I bought a pack of lettuce, two packs of cherry tomatoes, two broccoli, two bell peppers. 2 kg of cucumber, chicken eggs, and chicken breasts. And at the very end of this video, I'll show you my personal list of foods you can buy in a supermarket. A list with prices, so that you can stop the video, read it, analyze, and plan your budget. Hopefully it will be useful, but you gotta continue watching this video, yeah? Well now, I'm inviting you on the rooftop, so that I can show you the real reason why I've chosen to stay in this apartment for such a long time. One month here. Let's go. It's coming. <laughs> I didn't expect there will be two ladies. I didn't know there are ladies here. And this is the end of my stay in, the, in this apartment. But yeah, the sunset is coming behind me. So it's time for a flight. Actually, there are not two ladies. Two ladies, but technically it's mother and daughter, so no chances. Uh, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, write me a comment, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. More cool videos are coming soon! And this amazing drone flight is for you, for you only. Not for somebody else, for you. I know you're watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video pretty soon, somewhere else, who knows where, I don't know, bye-bye. Waiting on to face truth and lies, winding through.
this time Will you remember Remember this time Will you remember Remember this time